Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's begin this week's projects. I'm starting off by making my wall decor piece first. I have nine of the five by five inch mirrors and I have two of the four by five mirrors. I'm using a few of these craft sticks to help keep my wall decor piece together. And if you're going to recreate this, then I suggest you use a stronger adhesive so your project can last over time. These two mirrors are the five by five inch mirrors. These two are the four by five inch mirrors. For this next step, I'm using these small mirror tiles that I purchased from Amazon to decorate my wall decor. I could have cut out multiple rows of these and placed them down to save some time, but since I don't have a big area to cover, I figure why not just do it piece by piece. When peeling these off, you'll see the sticky paper, but all I do is tuck it behind. And although these are self-adhesive, you'll want to add a little glue so they can last over time. I had fewer mirrors in mind at first, but I decided to add some more, which totals to 12 mirrors. And just like that, I have this beautiful wall decor that was very easy to make. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments. For project number two, I'm creating a glitter glamorous vase and I got this bowl and vase from Dollar Tree, of course. I'm using this blue painter's tape to make vertical lines to create the exact design that I want. Now I'm creating a mixture which consists of this Mod Podge and also this silver glitter that I purchased from Dollar General. I'll be applying about two coats and this mixture will dry clear. This is what my vase is looking like so far, and I'm going to wipe it off to clean up the leftover residue. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, so I'm going to use more of those mirror tiles to help me hide some of those imperfections. I'm only covering this section with these mirror tiles. For the rest of my vase, I'm using these jewel border stickers and these are self adhesive, but if you are going to recreate this, then you should apply a little glue so they can last over time. Thank you. 
I'm layering my vase with these LED lights and also these clear acrylic gems. I just stuffed the battery pack in the center, but of course, if you are going to recreate this, then you should use an LED light with a remote. This vase is very beautiful. I love how it turned out. It's giving off Christmas vibes, but let me know if you would recreate this down in the comments. For this last project, I'm creating a unique table decor box with the 5 by 5 inch mirrors. I'm using these wood blocks to help keep my mirrors together. I'm using these rhinestone gems to fill in the gaps on my box. I'm basically just scattering the gems on my box so it doesn't matter if the jewel side is facing up or down. I'm flipping my box over to add the crystal clear drawer knobs to the bottom. I already added those same mirror tiles to this mirror and I'm gluing this to the front of my box. Now I'm gluing a circle mirror on top of this one. I'm using these rectangular mirrors to finish decorating. These are self-adhesive as well, but I continuously use these, so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. This box is very unique and eye-catching and can be filled with candy or makeup, but I just filled my box with gems for now. Like, comment, share, and if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.